Why is he jumping? Hold up. Why is this man in the car jumping, bro? What is this? Insane person. She's up. She's up. He's scared? I would stop talking about Okay. In the middle of the street dancing. Yes, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Well, guys, I think there's something in the water. It seems like over the last year or so, there has been a recent trend of people deciding to live stream the absolute worst moments of their relationships for the entire world to see. But hey, I'm not complaining. I don't know what started this trend, but it seems like once or twice a month for quite some time at this point, I've been able to make a video about some popular streamer doing something goofy with another person person that should have never made it onto the internet. There was that Dilly situation not too long ago. More recently, there was that guy who, like, freaked out over his girlfriend being in a YouTube video. And what? it's not even just for romantic relationships, either. We had that whole Aiden Ross fiasco not too long ago. What People happened with him? People are pretty bold on live streams. And today is no exception to that. Just a few- I'm not gonna lie, whenever IRL streaming came into the forefront and people started realizing that the crazier stuff that you do- and and this happens on every platform, TikTok, YouTube, it don't matter what platform. Whenever people realize that people enjoy watching people do crazy stuff, people started pushing the boundaries to the point to where no matter, like literally people getting it arrested, getting in trouble, all for a drop of clout, all for a little bit of money because they rather do that. They rather be, they rather get that attention than to actually go out there and work and do a job. And that's whenever things start taking a turn. Sometimes you just got to turn the camera off. Everything not supposed to be on camera. And this come down to morals. Are you going to stick to your morals? Or are you going to do something for money, bro? I don't know what's going on, but let's check this out, man. Two hours ago, a lady went viral on Twitter after she attacked her boyfriend on live stream while they were driving down the road. If you haven't what? heard about this, the lady's name is Eliza Jordana. She used to be a writer for the Howard Stern Show, and now she seems to spend her days doing IRL streams. Now, the full stream that this all happened during is over two hours long, so we're not going to be watching watching the entire thing. I know. I'm sorry. If you want to see the <laughs> whole thing, you can find it on YouTube pretty easily by just looking up her name. We're going to be focusing on the key moments here, and honestly, I'm probably going to end up having to cut out or censor a lot of this, because most of it is just vile language and two people actually assaulting each other, so uh, don't really want to get hit by that one-two combo by the community guidelines, so uh, sorry. But let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Oh, please subscribe. Okay, so for basically <laughs> the first 30 minutes of the stream, all she's doing is going through the text messages between her boyfriend and the girl he cheated on her with, kind of building off what I was saying at the beginning of the video. What's so funny about this to me is that the stream starts about 30 seconds before she gets on the phone and starts explaining all of this to a friend. It's not like she found out her boyfriend was cheating while she was already live and just decided to continue the stream. She started the stream specifically to do this. I what? truly fear what the world... Wait, 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 wait. This is another level of crazy. You found out your man was cheating, so you decided to... I don't understand the, the, the thought process behind this. Am I tweaking? You knew your... You found out your man was cheating, so you sparked up the live stream and decided you was going to confront him on live stream? Now, I know this was going... You probably knew this was going to get views, but this is not the direction you want to go. Number one, who wants to get caught live... On live stream, this couldn't have went well at all. World is gonna. And if your friend knew you was on live stream, they should have told you to turn it off. Like in ten years or so, when the concept of privacy has completely gone out the window, and there is no longer a sense of societal shame about oversharing with people you don't actually know. Believe it or not, children, there was a time that I can remember in my pretty short lifetime so far, where if you got cheated on, you did not want to tell every single person on the planet. Facts. That was a pretty private thing. But I guess as long as it might increase your social media following and it might kind of pass as content, that's enough for a lot of people. Back to the stream, though, I'm not going to really be showing any of this because it's just her reading stuff off like, oh my god, I'm shooting ropes, and attacking this woman's character who has really nothing to do with her boyfriend's infidelity. What Facts. I will say, though, is that this dude does seem like... Something that I've never understood is when, like, a, a person... Say you're in a relationship. One person cheat on the other person. Why are you attacking the person that they cheated on? Now, if the person that they cheated on you with... If they know that y'all was in a relationship, understood. 
But a lot of the times the person lie. A lot of the times the person don't know that you in a, that that person in a relationship. So why are you giving them like? Do y'all know what I'm saying? Like that's never been. I never understood that. Like a giant piece of shit from what she read off from their conversations. And you know, just being a cheater in general. From the limited lore I have gathered from this situation, it does not seem like this guy has been a very good person in the past either. But I don't really think that justifies what's gonna happen later on. Because about an hour into the stream, she decides to send all of the private messages onto her Discord. That not only apparently have all of this guy's financial information in them, but the number what? of the woman he cheated with is also visible. So. Oh my you know, Gosh. Really cool thing to do, and I think proves this woman is definitely the bigger person in this situation. But she was able to do all of this because she somehow had this guy's phone. So her boyfriend called the police on her, I guess, saying that she stole his phone, which led to this. So we were in couples therapy, and I found out Wait. she didn't on me for two years. So that's what this is about. There's nothing violent happening. I'm okay, gonna... He just wants his phone. So he's, he's getting his phone. Are you saying he's legal? Okay, okay. okay. I... What? So ideally, this is where this whole thing would have ended. She gave him his stuff back, she found out about his infidelity, and they go their separate ways. But as I'm sure you could infer by the tone of this video, that's not what's gonna happen. What do you do? I don't care what you do. I do not care what you do. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm fucking killing you. Watch me. Oh, oh. Sorry. Why I'm acting like <laughs> Bro, the cop is right there, bro. Now, whenever emotions start to get this heated, bro, number one, you stole this man's phone and just start driving off and, bro, the cops get involved. You right there in front of the cop about to fight this man? She's bad. She's angry, bro. This dude need to leave. Let her cool off. You, Whenever this situation happened like this, let the person cool off. You don't want to discuss anything when somebody's heated. She was just about to cry earlier. This is not a good situation. I don't know where this is going. Fucking bitch, I'm fucking killing you. Watch me, kill you, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Solid strategy. Say you're gonna kill somebody that you're in an altercation with in front of the police and then just say sorry. No, you were clutched. I'm gonna text her my Discord. Okay. It's being reported that thousands of people in all age groups are start staring at the sky frozen, motionless, with all black eyes. Mainstream media is not reporting it. It's real. And it, bro, shut up. You donated $3 to say that? Okay, okay. I'm just talking Separate them. Not really, no. Okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you should see when you're lucky that your hand didn't hit him because regardless of what he said, okay, all right, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, you're off of that camera. Okay, you're not on it, you're not on it. Okay, she's no, the police, I'm sorry. listen. I'm regardless of what has just happened, <laughs> he backing up. Right in my presence, regardless if you're I'm sorry, I don't, be quiet and listen to me. Could we find this officer <laughs> and give her a gold star? Nah, the facts. The on display here to have to talk to a fully grown woman who does not understand that it's not okay to hit people. Like, seriously, she was about to assault another person in front of a cop and she... Bro, the cop is right there and this man about to fall off the edge of the, of the sidewalk, bro. This man is scared for his life. Thinks that just saying sorry and whoopsie daisies is plenty. How do these people make it into adulthood? No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? All right, that's fine. 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 I was asking, can I go grab no, my not, stuff? You can grab your stuff here. Exactly. Okay. Bro, stop moving closer to him. That's what he can do. Okay. I have his stuff. I can take him to his stuff. And then okay, take his stuff and take your anger down a notch because you, you have hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, I should, should talk now. about it. No, I, I said I, I'm going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay. And I hope your channel caught that that bad perception of you. That's yeah. really nice. Okay. No, it's not okay. Are you, you ever been cheated on for two years without a 20-year-old's It's honestly <sighs> pretty amazing to me that some people are able to make it this far in life with this little self-awareness and this little sense of self-preservation. Most cops would have already arrested this woman, and this cop is trying to give this person as many chances as possible, and she's still like, well, have you ever been cheated on? Let me explain yeah. to you why I should actually be allowed to do this. So for some reason, these two decide to get into a car together, and for the next 20 minutes or so, it's a mixture of awkward silence
times, people calling into Eliza to say that her boyfriend has no chin, her threatening... Bro, why is he... How did he get... I got so many questions. How did he get to the to the mall if he got there by himself? Because she drove there by herself. Why is he in the car? How is he going to get his car? The guy and saying how happy she is that his girlfriend's address and phone number are all in her Discord. Really, just a true display of what a healthy relationship should be. I'll show you some highlights. Send her this clip and all the clips that I have. You fucking asshole. What the? F yeah, so we'll I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna be dead in a couple hours. So just look forward to that. What? You know what? Yeah, I was. It's too nice for you. With your no chin having ass, dude. <laughs> you fucking shit. Where's your chin, dude? Where did it go? Don't give you a poor dude. All your texts, all of them. Bro, and the thing is, I'm saying poor dude because he, number one, he shouldn't have cheated. No excuses for cheating. Cheating is not a mistake. Cheating, like, literally is just a, like, evil. You shouldn't have done that, bro. But, bro, he got to sit through this on live stream. People know who he is. Like, bro, this is bad, bro. Like, even if he did cheat, he deserved this. I'm not going to lie. But, bro, she should not have done this. This is down bad. They both weird. All right, fuck your fucking what the f- Oh, my God. You look like a... An adult baby. But things really kick off when Sarah, this guy's girlfriend, calls Eliza. Oh, okay, Sarah! Oh my God, what? Hey. Hello? Oh, no. Hello? Hi, Sarah, how are you? What the f- How are you, Sarah? Hi! Hi. Thanks so much for calling. I've never understood the whole getting mad at the person your partner cheats with thing. I can understand, like, being mad at the idea of them, but actually being mad at them as a person more than you are with your partner is insane. Facts. I'd love to hear from your side what's going on. So what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your nudes, so I'm gonna send. I'm gonna text them to you so you can see what um Bakdarom Alifor is sending of women. You play with some pictures. Mods, like, what? Bro, that's not something. What um Bakdarom Alifor is sending of women. You play with some pictures, mods, like, and I'm gonna text you what he's sending to me as well. So I'm just, I'm just gonna send you like of uh, your nudes and, you know, different sentences that he... Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Okay, so I'm gonna pause Oh, no. I don't think YouTube is gonna like what happens next. You shouldn't have said nothing! ...where that hand is heading, and I'm pretty sure this guy's nose gets broken by this. Broken? It's safe to say that this woman is completely insane for many, many reasons. First of all, if you're willing to do this on live stream, a lot... Bro, we worried about the wrong thing. She not even looking at the damn street! She on live stream... Like literally reading out messages, talking to, to to the cheater. She's not looking at the road. How did the cop allow this to happen? That's my question. How did the cop allow this to happen? Live stream. I'm getting mad now. Haven't taken down from your YouTube channel. Who knows what you're willing to do when the cameras aren't rolling? I mean, it takes a special kind of crazy to be willing to display this kind of behavior to hundreds of people. Not only that, her plan to get back at this woman, I guess, is not not a very good one. I'm gonna send you the text and the pictures that you sent. Is that is that supposed to be scary? I don't really understand what that thread is supposed to mean. It's like, I'm sure she's aware of them. You know, she sent <laughs> them. What is sending them back to her gonna do? Now, the rest of the video, I don't think I'm really gonna risk showing. They continue talking with this girl. She keeps saying stuff that apparently this guy said to her about his girlfriend. It's not very nice things, I'll tell you that much. But she keeps, like, poking and prodding at him while completely taking her eyes off the road for multiple seconds oh at gosh. a time. So we've gone past this being an issue between these these two, and now she's endangering Get out everybody the car, bro. around her on the road. And then at one point, she starts poking at him again and, like, starts pulling his ear. And then he grabs her by the head and kind of restrains her in, like, a hair pull headlock situation. What? No, this dude needs to get out the car right now while the car stopped. I'm not going to lie. You got to remove yourself from this situation. When a woman starts putting your hands on you, separate yourself, bro. Leave. Leave the car. Like, leave the car. Go home. Figure something out, call an Uber, something, bro. While she's still driving, okay, the car is not in park while this is happening. They are sitting in the middle of the road having, like, a wrestling match. Have you guys seen those videos of car jitsu? That's kind of what it looks like. She escapes his hold and exits the car. He walks around to the driver's seat and takes off. Not soon after, he ends the stream. I think it's safe to say that this what? is the craziest thing I have ever witnessed go down on a live stream. There's a lot of debate on the internet right now about who's in the right 
right, who's in the wrong. Um, they both in the wrong. In my opinion, nobody in this situation is in the right. <laughs> both of these people should be banned from the internet and probably spend a couple months in jail just to get their head right. I don't think they should be around other people. A lot of people are going back and forth discussing whether or not this guy is acting in self-defense. And I think if you watch the stream, you could say he is for about the first 30 seconds or so. But it becomes pretty clear pretty quickly that this woman is trying to leave the vehicle and get away from all this. And in a lot of states, if a person is clearly no longer a threat and is trying to de-escalate the situation or run away or something, it's no longer self-defense. So legally, who knows what's going to happen here. But morally, if you punch a guy in the face and break his nose and continuously assault him did he, and harass... Th did his nose actually break him while endangering everybody around you because you're doing this while driving. If that person snaps, it's uh, it's kind of hard to feel bad for you. It's not like this guy is huge or anything either, and this woman probably wasn't hurting him. They seem to be pretty. Bro, easy. his nose looks bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's red. Well, physically, this woman actually looks larger than him. So I mean, really, this is on you, Eliza. Don't punch people in the face if you don't want to get punched in the face. It's pretty simple. Well, guys, what do you think? What is your prediction on what will become of these two? If I had to guess, they will likely be back together and streaming together within a week. It's sad and it's unfortunate, but when people like this manage to find each other, it's yeah. pretty hard to get them to separate for good. Like guys. Yeah, facts. Whenever, like, whenever somebody got crazy antics and the person that they with entertained those crazy antics, a lot of the times, they not go separate. Like, Oh. said earlier. Apparently behavior like this is nothing new for these two, so if you're still putting up with it after two years, it's unlikely that anything's gonna change. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button. <laughs> Bro, the original video gonna be in the description. If you wanna see more videos like this, it should be a video up on the screen. Let me go see. Uh, oh! <laughs> Bro! Over dumb cunt. Pull over, dumb punch. Oh, 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 you're sorry, right? Get the fuck okay, out of here. What the f- He's killing me! Killing you? He's- No! Okay, I'm gonna- Nah, this is- Bro, the car's still moving! Oh my gosh. What did I just witness? Damn it. Walk away. <laughs> Walk away. I don't know what I expected to see. Please, please, please walk away, bro.